Welcome to the Propane Business Podcast. I'm Johnny. And I'm Yusuf. We set up and built propanefitness.com into the profitable semi-automated system that it is today, which allowed us to quit our corporate jobs and coach online full-time. More importantly, we were able to do this without a huge online audience or being glued to social media every day. We're now ready to share everything from the failures we've made to the systems that now consistently generate hundreds of thousands in revenue. We help personal trainers, coaches, and gym owners do the same by avoiding the mistakes we've made and the best practices going forward. Subscribe to this podcast to learn what we're doing and what we've done to build and scale propanefitness.com. We'll be teaching you how to generate a steady flow of online clients, win at Facebook ads, automate your coaching systems, and to achieve financial independence. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Propane Business Podcast. So, uh, just me, again. Um, I've been quite enjoying doing these sort of solo episodes, um, getting some really, really positive feedback from everyone who's like sent us an email or a message um, on any platform. Thank you for, thank you for that feedback. Um, that encourages us to sort of direct our efforts, our effort, efforts, our efforts where... Um, they are sort of most well received. So um, expect some more podcasts, I suppose, is the uh, the long and short of that. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, at the moment, um, I my fa- my sort of personal preference is to just get a regular episode out to you guys rather than when Yusuf and I record podcasts together, we batch them, we do them I mean, one big go and then sort of release them over several weeks. So there'll be more uh, Johnny and Yusuf episodes coming. Um, but for now, um, it's just me. So, hi. Um, today, I want to talk about um, basically follow-up and sales systems. So, um, in the podcast so far, uh, we've talked about um, quite a few things. I'm actually just going to get the episode list up so I know exactly what we've spoken about. Incidentally, while I'm doing this, um, if you are enjoying this podcast, um, it means a lot to us. Everyone always says that. The reason it means a lot to us is ratings and reviews um, on the iTunes platform are pretty much the like the currency that, that they use to sort of say, you know, this is a good this is a good podcast, this is worth reaching more people, or um, this isn't a good podcast, we should kind of throttle a reach. If you are enjoying it, right, or you want to give us some feedback, if you want to hear certain things, um, leave us a review on iTunes, right? So uh, depending on the platform you're listening to this on, leave us a review and we will pick um, every episode. I will read one out um, and we will pick uh, one person to get some free, totally free stuff from us. Um, I'll leave the free stuff as a surprise, but I think you'll like it. Um, so this week's review is from Paul McGurran um, and the review is just titled Propane. Um, Paul has said, I think the episodes so far are great. I don't have any ambition to be an online coach, but business and working online are things that interest me. And there are things to take from each episode which are applicable. It would be great to see some more generalized business topics discussed, but if not, I'll still be listening. Thanks, Paul. So um, we basically just need an email address from you. So if you get in touch with us via Facebook, Instagram, or send us an email to admin at propanefitness.com, free stuff is on its way to you. So if you'd like to be uh, selected, to get some free stuff, that is how to do it. Leave, leave, read a review, and if I read out your review, you will get some free stuff sent to you. I am sipping my morning coffee while I uh, speak to you guys on this, by the way. Um, it is Lavazza coffee beans made with an AeroPress. If anybody likes Lavazza beans made with an AeroPress, you are immediately my friend. You should email me straight away um, so we can talk about coffee some more. <laughs> so... Um, the episodes we covered so far. So first episode, how not to start your business, f- business, your fitness business online. Sort of the framework that we, uh, the mistakes we made in starting Propane Fitness, how to avoid those. Um, the second one, we spoke about the break even back end model, which is the the essence of our fitness business, right? Everything that we do feeds off the break even back end model. And the third one, we spoke about um, imposter syndrome, something that is really common in the fitness industry, a lot of coaches think they aren't good enough to coach online. A lot of coaches think they aren't good enough to coach at all. Um, and the alter- an, al- an alternative way of looking at that. Um, fourth episode, we spoke about how to stand out, right, or why you should, in inverted commas, rustle jimmies in your content. Um, how to actually create a presence that um, 
you know, just makes people aware of you online, how not to blend into the background of recipe book giving uh, coaches who always just talk about fat loss. Five, we took a bit of a segue into productivity and how to manage yourself um, while working online on your own. That's something that very few people actually speak about, but is really, it's pretty difficult, right? If you're like I am right now, I'm sat in an office on my own speaking into um, a dildo-shaped microphone about business, right? How on earth do you go about um, setting up that environment so you're, you stay productive and you don't just default to Xbox every day, right? Um, I have a lot of stuff around me right now, notebooks, apps on my laptop, um, things that create an environment that allow me to get work done. And as I record this, it's Wednesday. I'm taking Wednesday afternoon off, right? Which is something that I spoke about in the seventh episode of Free Days, taking time off and why most personal trainers leave the online world within a year of starting, right? And how um, you need to almost treat your life like a, like a training program, right? But that's what the seventh episode is about. And the sixth episode, I spoke about the ability to sell and how Jordan Belford in Wolf of Wall Street, you know, the entire story, the entire um, film, exists because um, he is good at selling, right? So today I want to talk about something that is a bit different. Um, and it's it's not as sexy. It's not what, um, in fact, you know what? Um, I want to get an exact quote for you. I might not be able to get it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. Um no, no, not, not going to happen. Um, but this idea of following up, okay, and how everybody wants to make money right now, right? Everybody wants to get leads, to get qualified leads, and to sell those qualified leads right now. And how actually that belief pattern is probably, it doesn't really matter where you are, right? That will be a belief pattern that you either think right now or have thought in the past. And I can almost guarantee it's holding you back. Okay, so what everybody speaks about, so what every online coach talks about is this idea that um, you need to get leads and then close those leads into sales and then deliver your coaching. Those are like the three arms of any coaching business in the fitness industry or not, right? And lead generation typically happens through, you know, a lead is typically considered someone's given you their email address, right? Or their contact information, their phone number, their name, a way to contact them further, a way to sort of <clears throat> self-elect as I'm interested in what you do. I would like a bit more of it, please. All right, that is a lead. And then from that lead, we ideally then, or from as many of those leads, we ideally want to then convert a percentage of them into people who pay us for our services, right? And there's this constant, <coughs> excuse me, there's this constant discussion um, in a lot of Facebook groups that I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm in them, but I see them. Um, as some of them are pretty seedy, nasty places to be, full of uh, sort of personal trainers being nasty about other people. Um, but this this conversation around qualified leads, right? This conversation about um, how to grow, people talk about growing your following, people talk about um, how to convert your audience into buyers, there's this sort of very circular conversation. And when I look at this, these the people that are saying this stuff, I look at, I take a quick look at their business and see if they have any, the evidence of any systems in place and they don't, they're missing some really low hanging fruit, right? I wrote an email the other day, um, which you may have got if you're on our email list. If you're not on our email list, like what, are you, seriously, what are you doing? I'm kidding. Um, but if you go to propanefitness.com forward slash business podcast, you can get seven our seven steps training, right? Which are seven principles that we used and still use to build propane fitness today. Totally free. Um, all we need is email address to send you the link. Um, so yeah, propanefitness.com forward slash business podcast. But anyway, so I wrote this email where I spoke about how we generate three to four pounds for every follow we have on Instagram, right? And we don't have very many followers on Instagram. Um, but this is money that I can directly attribute to Instagram. Okay, because we track it, we know where these people are coming from. And that's something that is a whole other conversation. It's a very detailed training of how to actually do that. It's something we've just coached in inside of Propin Business um, in, to, our, to our clients. But yeah, so we, we generate or we have generated three or four pounds for every follow we have on Instagram. That's our average stats, right? And we don't even have 10,000 people. We don't even have um, the ability to do a swipe up, right, on Instagram. That's That's how sort of low level we are. But I speak to people constantly, 
Okay, so we get people booking calls with us, sending us emails, saying they have 20 or 30,000 followers, but they can't monetize their audience. And obviously those people are missing a few things, right? They're missing a sales system, which is the most important thing. If you don't have, if I said to you today, you have to go out and get clients by tomorrow and you don't have a way that you would at least try to do that, that doesn't just involve cold messaging people or doesn't just involve um, posting on Facebook saying I have 10 spots for my coaching, right? If you don't have a sales process that you know converts, that is where you're going wrong, okay? So that's the first thing you need. Let's go back and listen to the Break Even Back End Model podcast earlier in the series of these podcasts. Um, but yeah, so that's the first thing they need. But the second thing those people are probably missing is some kind of reliable follow-up, right? Because everybody expects... Well, th- think of this, right? When was the last time that you saw an ad on Facebook or Instagram or Google or YouTube or LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever, and you opted in and then bought a 500 pound or whatever, like personal training packet, the equivalent of whatever price you sell, you bought it immediately, right? If you're like me, you've probably never done that, right? I've never bought something from someone unless we're talking, you know, something that is obvious what it is like clothes, shoes, um, supplements, you know, things that like you can see what they are, you know what they are, you know you need them. If we're selling a service, we need to get to know the person soon uh, before we make a decision, right? And the sooner we do that, the sooner we sort of introduce ourselves, usually the better results we get. And there are ways to convert people pretty quickly, right? From first interaction to selling. But everybody expects that everybody who opts in will be in that position, which is just never going to happen, right? And when people aren't in that position, people talk about, Um, low quality leads or I need to improve my lead quality or I need to get more um, qualified people coming through my funnel, right? But the reality is that they just don't know who you are because you haven't introduced yourself. And that's really where you need some kind of follow-up in your business. And follow-up can happen in multiple ways, right? It can happen on a one-to-one basis. If you're having a conversation with someone, if you have a, a sales conversation with someone over the phone, over messenger, over email, and you don't regularly follow that person up, you are probably missing out on the sale. And also you're doing them a disservice, right? If you can't, if you contact them once and then never speak to them again, how do they feel, right? They don't, they certainly don't feel like you care. Now, obviously follow up has to be done in a way that um, isn't spammy and pushy and, and sort of unnecessarily forceful. But if you are try, if you are going to be coaching someone, the way I look at this is from the moment that person initiates any kind of inquiry with you, it is your role to hold them accountable from day one, right? So you should be following them in that capacity. But excuse me, you also need systems to follow these people up automatically, right? Or on at mass. So this is where things like. Um, retargeting strategies with advertising come in. This is where things like email marketing come in. Some people use messenger bots. I don't really recommend that. They're starting to change the rules on those. But if you aren't sending regular emails to people who didn't buy from you, you are missing out on thousands and thousands of pounds, right? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands in in some cases. The reason, when I wrote that email, what I didn't really go into was the reason that we're able to know where these sales come from, right, is... We have a specific method that we use to convert sales through organic inquiry, all right, which I'm not going to go into now. If you want to learn more about that, that is something we specifically teach inside the 28-day launchpad. So if you want to hear more about that, send an email to admin at propinfitness.com with just the word launchpad as the subject line, right? And we'll, we know we have a process that triggers, we'll get you the details, right? But that, we have a process that we use for converting organic stuff. So people that haven't come through a funnel or come through advertising. Um, And then off the back of that, right, there'll there'll be a percentage of those people, which is usually up to 5%, right? Even if someone inquires through a, they know who we are, they've been following us for six months, they send us an inquiry to work with us. There's a percentage of those people, it can be a bit higher than that, depending on where they've come from, who are ready to buy right away, right? And if you were to speak to them, chat with them, send them them to a sales page, send them to a buy now link, they're just ready to go. All right, but the majority of those people aren't for whatever reason, right? Maybe it's the time of year. As I'm recording this now, it's towards the end of November. Selling fitness services now starts to become pretty difficult, right? I don't want to sign up for an eight-week program now because that overlaps Christmas. That overlaps New Year. I'd far rather start in the New Year, right? So there are marketing tactics we need to use to overcome that. But once someone's in your world, 
they are still potentially going to buy. And the quote that I wanted to get was from a guy called Dean Jackson, who speaks about this idea that um, there are basically different conversion points, right? So there's a percentage of people who are considering a service. So let's say they're considering getting an online coach, an online personal trainer. A percentage of those people are going to make a buying decision in the next year, right? Some of those people will buy from you. Some of those people will buy from another coach, but they are going to buy that thing from when they are interested within the next year. A percentage of those people, a slightly smaller percentage of those people are going to make a buying decision in the next 90 days, right? So they're pretty serious about this. They want it They want it to happen really quite quickly. They're past the point of just considering. They're really just looking for where to allocate their money. And then a percentage of those people are going to make a decision right now, right? They're going to make a buying decision right now, whether that is today, this week, in the next two weeks. And so this starts to inform the landscape of our marketing, Right. That means that we need to speak to those three types of people in kind of a different way, right? And this is where follow-up comes in. So obviously you need your sales funnel, right? You need a way to capture that what we talk about, this golden number of three to 5%, all right? What we do in propane business is we build with clients a sales funnel that converts at three to 5%. Because once you do that, you can at least break even on your marketing and you build your email list for free, right? It's a pretty cool place to be. And then you use that email list to grow your organic channels like your YouTube, your podcast, all these other things, right? The reason we got our Propane Fitness podcast to it's like way over 200,000 downloads was just through our email list, right? Through channels that we have built over time through marketing, through breaking even on our marketing. Um, but yeah, so they come through, there's a percentage that we are converting right now. So we're almost like skimming the cream off every 100 people. If 100 people come into your world, we take the three people who are ready to buy and we make sure they can buy. All right, we aren't making them go through all kinds of complicated sequences or they have to like a post, then watch 10 seconds of a video, then download a lead magnet, then have a phone call, then get on a webinar, then they can buy. All right, if they want to buy right now, they can. There's an option to do that. But we know, we understand intrinsically that at least 95% of those people are not in a position to buy right now for whatever reason. And if it were me, if I was in that 100 people, I would be one of those 95%. All right, I would want to. I would want to consume some more of this person's stuff. I would want to see what they're about. I would maybe go to their website, their social media, listen to their podcast. All right, read their emails, and then probably I'm I'm in the in the category that if I'm serious about something, it only takes me a couple of weeks. Right, I'll be with it. I'll be in that ninety day crowd. But that means that we need a system that's really good. Right, a follow up system that's really good that's going to give those opportunity of people to th- those people an opportunity to buy as well. And what so many coaches don't have is that. So when people say, I can't convert from my Instagram, I can't convert from my ads, I can't convert from whatever, it's because they're just trying to sell to people today. And then when people aren't ready to do that, they say, oh, you know, I I have a lead quality problem. You don't have a lead quality problem. You have a follow-up problem. The money is in the follow-up, all right? What we do, if you're on our email list, you'll see this right? I'll be totally transparent with you. When you opt into anything that we do, there is an opportunity to have some kind of conversion scenario, right? Usually it's speak to us on the phone, it's attend a webinar, it's have some kind of discussion of shall we work together, right? Are you a fit? Are we right for you? Can we work together? Can we help? If yes, we'll give you details of our programs, the various ways we can work together. You can buy right now if you want to. If not, you will then receive content across a lot of different mediums, that basically just display who we are and why you might want to listen to us. And then at various points in the future, there are opportunities to work with us in different ways. All right. But we know that follow-up system works. And in fact, over the past, again, I wrote another email the other day um, about how over the past two months, we've generated in Propane Fitness an extra 10 grand of revenue just from some simple email strategies. All right. So there's no ad spend associated with that. Those aren't... um, we haven't had to get on the phone with anybody. It's purely through email, right? Purely through emails that take me 20 minutes at most to write. And in one instance, we sent people to a YouTube video and the YouTube video brought us in sales as well. All right, this is, I mean, we're getting more and more into the depths of how to set up this this system, which I don't want to get into the weeds of today. But the point is, is that if you don't have, if I, if I join something, like if I download your lead magnet, if I join your front end thing, click a link on your website, and I'm not automatically enrolled into a system that you know over the next year will give me every opportunity to buy to maximize the chances that I buy from you and not your competitor, you are missing out on so many clients, all right? So that's really, 
I mean, I've, I feel like I've hammered it home quite hard, but that's what I wanted to speak about today, all right, is that we can all talk about marketing, we can all talk about lead cost, cost per click, cost per lead, um, sales methods, webinars, challenges, right? And these are these are methods to skim that three to 5% off every 100 people. But what are you doing with the 95? And most people have email lists that they don't email. Most people have create content, but they don't know why they're creating it. People post on YouTube or make podcasts or Instagram, and they don't know why. They don't know who they're speaking to, right? Any organic stuff we create is speaking to those 95 people, okay? We aren't trying to organically acquire people for lots of different reasons, mainly because it's a total waste of time, right? But you create content to take people closer to a buying decision who have already had an interaction with you. And this is all part of building an, an ecosystem, right? A full setup that allows you to measurably grow your business rather than just sitting down in the morning making 10 bits of content, posting it on loads of different platforms, but you're not really sure, A, whether any of it's working or not, B, why you're doing it, or C, where the next sale's gonna come from. Instead, you should be able to look at ads managers on different platforms, see how many leads you're getting. You should be able to look at your front-end sales mechanisms and see how well they're converting. Am I breaking even at least on my ads? Great. Okay, how are my follow-up systems working? Am I converting people within 90 days, within six months, within a year? If so, how? Which emails are converting the best? Which retargeting pieces are working the best? Which bits of content are generating the most inquiries from those people? And then how is my coaching systems working? Am I generating testimonials? Are my clients happy? Are they leaving reviews on a, in, a, in my membership site? This is all, You should be able to look at a dashboard and growing your business. Just because it's online doesn't mean it isn't real. Just because it's online doesn't mean you just need to become a YouTuber or an influencer and everything just falls into place. Okay? You still have to take this stuff seriously. Build it properly. If you would like to learn how to build it properly, propanefitness.com forward slash business podcast is the best way to start. We have an intake of, depending on when this podcast goes live, it's today is Wednesday the 27th. We have an intake of the 28-day launch pad. If you'd like to join that, send us an email to admin at propanefitness.com and just the, the subject line launch pad, right? And let me know in somewhere in the email that you've come from the podcast. I'll make sure you get the right details and a chance to join us. All right, that's everything from this episode. Leave us a review if you'd like some free stuff and I'll speak to you next time. Want to learn more about the systems we use to run, build and scale propanefitness.com? Head over to propanefitness.com forward slash business podcast and you can get your hands on our free training that covers the seven steps that we take with every client that we help build their own online business and also the seven steps that we use to successfully build propane fitness. We walk through the sales systems, the delivery systems, follow-up, remarketing, how to basically build your program so that it delivers coaching to your clients without you being there 24-7. We really do cover the full thing, right? And if you want to continue even further and potentially work with us, there's a chance to book in a call to have an informal chat with Yusuf or I to just basically see if any of our programs would be a fit to help you get from where you are to where you want to get to. So go to propanefitness.com forward slash business podcast today and get access to that. If you'd like to learn just more about Yusuf and I, more about us, what we do, follow us on the various channels, the best place to go is our YouTube channel. We have a load of stuff from fitness content, productivity content, why Yusuf slept on the floor for several months, why he's been having cold showers. There's always stuff on there that's entertaining and hopefully informative. So just go to YouTube, search for Propane Fitness, and you can find out a bit more about us there as well. Speak to you on the next episode.